Hey what's up guys, so there has been quite a lot of confusion regarding how to configure and use an external Wi-Fi adapter which supports monitor mode in your Kali Linux virtual machine, specifically for the part of Wi-Fi hacking or network penetration testing. So today in this video I shall be showing you how you can easily configure and use your external Wi-Fi adapter inside any virtual machine and also some important points which you must keep in mind while using an external Wi-Fi adapter with a virtual machine or with your host Windows system. Previously, I have already made a video regarding what monitor mode in a Wi-Fi adapter is and why is it required for Wi-Fi hacking. Well, today let me quickly brief you about what monitor mode is. So there are two basic modes in a Wi-Fi adapter. First is the managed mode and second is the monitor mode. So first let us talk about the managed mode. All the Wi-Fi adapters which are available in the market or those which come pre-installed in your laptop or your mobile devices natively support the managed mode. Managed mode is also known as the promiscuous mode and in this mode the Wi-Fi adapter can only capture the packets of the network in which it is connected. That means if a Wi-Fi access point is sending a packet to that particular Wi-Fi adapter, that adapter can only capture that packet. Now this may arise a question that if a Wi-Fi adapter in managed mode can only capture the packets inside a network to which it is connected, then how come our mobile device's Wi-Fi interface can show all the available Wi-Fi networks around? Well, every Wi-Fi access point sends a beacon packet. Now this beacon packet means a stay alive packet. These beacon packets are emitted periodically after some seconds and these contain very limited amount of information containing the name of the wireless access point that is the SSID and the encryption used by that wireless access point. So the managed mode Wi-Fi adapter can capture these beacon packets from around the neighborhood and only after connecting to that wireless access point by successful authentication with us uh, with the correct password only after that it can capture the packets which that wireless access point is sending in the monitor mode the Wi-Fi adapter can capture all the data packets of almost all the networks even if it is not connected to that network. So that basically means even if a Wi-Fi adapter is not connected to a particular wireless access point, it can still capture the data packets which are flowing in that network. Now to hack any wireless network, this is exactly what we require, right? So this monitor mode is not supported by all chipsets. So uh, there are specific chipset manufacturers which are the Atheros and the specific model number is Atheros AR9271. This is a very popular chipset and any Wi-Fi adapter which is built with this chipset can easily support the monitor mode. In monitor mode the Wi-Fi adapter has a greater range and it can even detect the wireless access points which are very far away and a normal Wi-Fi adapter in the managed mode cannot even detect it. So in monitor mode even before authenticating itself with the wireless access point that is even before connecting to a particular Wi-Fi router that adapter is capable to capture the data packets which are flowing inside that particular network and that is what exactly Wi-Fi hackers require because all these data packets contain the crucial information regarding that network, the password of the wireless access point and other kinds of encryptions used by the clients and the host. So that is a quick difference between monitor mode and managed mode. So let us now proceed how to configure an external Wi-Fi adapter such as this one which I have with me. This one supports monitor mode and this the, and the chipset used in this is the Atheros AR9271. So let us quickly proceed and let us see how to configure this external Wi-Fi adapter inside your Kali Linux virtual machine. But before that, let me quickly tell you an important thing that a virtual machine is like a completely separate machine running on your host operating system that is the Windows operating system and whatever external devices you connect either you can connect to your host machine or to your virtual machine so since this is an external wi-fi adapter you can either connect it to your host machine and or either to your virtual machine and the internal wi-fi cards which most of the laptops have inbuilt and if your pc has one then that card cannot be used as an external wi-fi card in your virtual machine instead that internal wi-fi card will act as a wired ethernet lan connection for your virtual machine so if your laptop has a Wi-Fi card inbuilt, so you cannot use it as a Wi-Fi adapter in your virtual machine and you will require an external Wi-Fi card for Wi-Fi hacking. And if, your, and if your PC suppose doesn't have an internal card, so you are connecting an external card. So you can either connect that external card to your host machine or to your virtual machine. If you connect that external card to your host machine, then that card will act as a wired ethernet connection for your virtual machine. And if you connect that external card to your virtual machine, then your host machine will have no internet connection. So suppose you have a PC and you want an external card for your host machine to connect to the Wi-Fi router in your home. So in that case, uh, I would suggest you to go for a cheap 
uh, Wi-Fi card for your host machine which will be giving you internet access to your host windows operating system and buy a good quality external Wi-Fi card which will support monitor mode and connect that permanently to your virtual machine. So having that said let us quickly go ahead and see how to configure an external card in a virtual machine. Okay so now we are on our desktop and as soon as I connect my external Wi-Fi adapter to my desktop a uh, pop-up from the VMware software comes here where it asks me to whether I want to connect my external card to the host operating system the host operating system is the Windows operating system or to the virtual machine and in the virtual machine the name is Kali Linux which is running inside the VMware software so right now my external Wi-Fi card is connected to my host machine and as you can see here there are uh, since this is a laptop so there are two Wi-Fi cards showing here is the first one and this one is the external card and in the virtual machine right now the internet connection is coming from the laptop's internal Wi-Fi card as a wired Ethernet connection let me show you quickly over here as you can see here it is a wired connection so suppose in your system this external dialog box does not appear whenever you connect an external Wi-Fi card and it does not ask you whether you want to connect that card to your host machine or your virtual machine in that case just head on to this VM tab on the top left corner and over here in the second option you will see removable devices and right here you can see the external uh, card or whichever external removable device which you have connected even if you connect a pen drive it will appear here and since I have connected a network card over here so it is appearing as IMC networks so let us connect this and it, uh, as it says that whenever you connect this card to your uh, virtual machine it will automatically disconnect from the host machine so let us connect over here and okay so now you can see in my host machine the card is disappeared from here and it is now connected to the virtual machine as you can see here here it is showing Wi-Fi previously it was showing only wired connection which was coming from the inbuilt Wi-Fi card of my laptop and right now it is this one is the external Wi-Fi card so let us quickly open a command prompt and let's see whether this is the actual card which is supporting monitor mode or not so as you can see here I have written iwconfig and this gives me the details of the wireless card the interface name is WLAN 0 and the mode which is currently active on this Wi-Fi card it is the managed mode it is acting on 2.412 gigahertz the access point to which it is connected that is my home router that's the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi 3C that MAC address is showing over here so uh, let me try to activate the monitor mode on this wireless card so for that I'll be typing Airmon ng start and the name of the interface so right now as you can see the interface name is WLAN 0 and the driver that is the chipset is Atheros 9 it is the Atheros 9721 so it is showing here Atheros 9k underscore STC and the chipset is made by IMC networks and over here monitor mode VIF enabled for WLAN 0 on WLAN 0 mod so let us once again cross check whether the monitor mode has been activated or not so I will type in iwconfig and over here the WLAN 0 is gone and instead the card is being shown as WLAN 0 mod and the mode is monitor and right now it is not connected to any Wi-Fi network it will not be showing over here because the card is not in managed mode instead this one is monitor mode so now i can use this card for network penetration testing so thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope this video helped you in clearing your all your doubts regarding how to connect an external wi-fi adapter which supports a monitor mode inside your virtual kali linux machine if you want more of such interesting tech videos then make sure to subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon beside it so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side share this video with all your friends and see you in my next video till then goodbye